I'm going to do a 420 RTMP streamer tutorial. I just found it. The tutorial's in German, or the whole program's in German. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to it so you can download it since it took me forever to find it. I'm also going to provide a link to the video of another tutorial that showed me how to use it. So, but this will be, you know, audio with, you know, a little higher quality visuals, I guess. Uh, when you first uh, uninstract, or excuse me, unzip the one that I've then I'm going to link. This will be what you'll have inside of it. Uh, you don't need the hex editor. This is a modified version without a watermark, and there's some instructions in German on how to change stuff with the hex editor, but honestly, you don't need that at all. So, but anyway, here's a program. It, when you first start it up, it does have a little bit of lag. Here, I'll show you. There's a little tiny bit of lag. And when you start fiddling with it, it'll say not, not responding, but just give it a second. And don't worry, this high CPU is not because of this. It's because of my uh, FF split recording it. So, But just give this a second, and it'll kick on. All right. Now, to set it up, uh, highlight the 420 RTMP streamer. Find the yellow cogs. Click on that. And here's your resolution and whatnot. Uh, I'm using 640 by 360 for the size of this box. They say it's supposed to be 640 by 360, but, or excuse me, I'm using 662, or 664, yeah, okay, there we go. But anyway, and here's your uh, your quality. Uh, I, lower is higher quality, and higher is lower quality. Uh, I find 27 works all right for me. Uh, here's your video bit rate. Uh, if you got uh, six, or if you have three meg internet, 360 KB is fine. If you got six meg like I do, 420 to 460 is all right. You can still kind of browse the internet, but and then anything higher than six meg, uh, it's going to be based on your upload speed. So like I have 0.88 MB, so that's why I'm using 420 to 460, depending on how I feel like at the day. Anyway, eight uh, X264 preset. Uh, this is how much CPU you're going to sacrifice to stream. Very fast is, for, is recommended for virtually anything. Uh, the slower you go, the, high, the better quality system you need. Like this is going to need an overclocked i5 or an i7 and a decent graphics card. Uh, super fast is for like the first gen Intel dual cores with built-in GPUs. So this is like crumb system. So, But I'm just going to leave it on very fast because my... CPU is garbage, and my graphics card is garbage. Uh, playlist module. This has a built-in playlist. So, I am loop. It just loops your whole playlist. Uh, this one right here, Z U L or excuse me, Z U F A L L I G. This is random. I don't. Oh, music mode is a uh, no video displayed, just audio. So, and I don't know what this one is. So. I think this might be loop plus random or something, but I'm not certain. You can fiddle with it if you want, or you can go to Google Translate and try to type it in. But I'm just going to leave it on loop. And over here, we have a... There's reference... Or I got a reference picture right here. Horizontal. If you use this, it's going to do that to your video. This is how uh, Justin TV streamers used to get past the auto ban. Uh, and then there's vertical which will just be that. So, needless to say, you don't need these. Uh, and here's a, if you want to crop your video, like it'll cut out uh, a little bit of the video on the top and bottom. I think uh, this is top, this is bottom. Uh, I think this is left and this is right. So you'd be, it'll just be adding black bar to it. And I believe this is... Uh, uh, it this will make it go over the size of the video box. Like it'll push the video or stretch the video out, depending on how you set this. Like you know, it'll, you'll stretch it up, you'll stretch it down, you'll stretch it left and stretch it right. So it's like zoom in. So, but you don't really need either of these because FFmpeg will uh, auto, it'll auto size it to the video or to uh, this box size right here. And uh, here's your ticker and. Uh, like this one right here, this will display the file name in, uh, let's see, on the
on the bottom or on the top of your video as you're streaming. You can pick the color of it. Like it'll be white and it'll say the file name. This is a... Uh, I think this is a... Uh, what time the video starts over your duration. But you don't need this. Uh, this will be total length of video. It won't have a countdown. But if you want to use... Like say I play uh, this. It'll tell it the... Uh, it'll display the name. And then it'll show the length of the video but won't count down and uh, here's your size of uh, your text and here's your uh, how much how much transparency or not transparent you want it to be how opaque like 99% will be solid and then uh, like 5% will be like almost un almost invisible so I'm gonna leave that and then a uh, ticker you can have a, a little thing on the bottom of your screen rolling around like I'll just make it say testing uh, 420 RTMP streamer and of course you can pick your color uh, box size how transparent so but I'll leave those on you don't need those so Oh, uh, stream key and RTMP links and all that stuff. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get those. Go ahead and uh, go to your Vogden Live. Left click on your name and hit settings. And it'll take you to some uh, page kind of like this. You'll go down and click channel. And then it'll display this stuff right here. So you're going to need primary. Uh, you can just highlight, right click, copy. And then just paste it in up here. And then you need your stream key, so highlight copy, and then paste it in down here. Uh, playlist thing for 420. Back when they had a, back when the person who made this had a server, you'd put in your API key from that server, like your account over there, and it would display your the playlist you created in this on their site, and your channel link and all that other stuff, I guess. But they don't have a site anymore, so. That's completely useless. Oh, I forgot. This will be how yours looks. So you'll just go over here and change that to this. And then, of course, go back and get your stream key and all that stuff. Do, do, do. And this is save. If you you have to click this after you're done messing with everything. Uh, if you click this button, you'll have to redo everything. So all your changes will be moot. Like here, I'll I'll just delete all this real quick. And then I'm gonna hit this button, and I'll go back to it, and it won't be deleted. So this is a save button right here. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what this does. Uh, there's the same option like this in uh, OBS. I'm gonna. It doesn't matter if you leave it checked or unchecked, I guess. Uh, auto reconnect. It's good to have that. Uh, audio codec, of course. MP3 will be like CD quality. Uh, 96, and, or excuse me, 56 will be like my microphone quality. So you can find a nice middle. I'm just going to use 96 because I don't care. Uh, profile, you don't need to mess with that. I don't even know what it does. Like... Uh, FMPEG, uh, I think this is for hyper-threading or how many threads you would like to use per core. Just leave it on auto, it's easier. And debug, I haven't noticed it does anything, so I just leave it off. But go ahead and make sure I got everything set up. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Alright. And now since that was the demo settings... It doesn't have my stream key. I'm going to go ahead and name that demo. You don't have to do this. I'm just. I already got a stream key set up in this one, so you don't have to. Or, well, it's that way you guys won't get my stream key. So, there we go. I'm just going to use that. I'll show you how to make a playlist now. Since this decides it wants to load. <laughs> Alright. Here's your playlist. 
uh, no matter what you add, you have to hit this button to save it. Otherwise, if you add something, here, you go to the magnifying glass. Uh, this is a WebM, so it's not going to find it right off the bat. There we go. There. But if I don't click this, if I just close it out, there's not going to be a playlist. And when you go to start the, the streamer, it'll scream at you for not having a playlist. So that to save it and then there you got a, you got something on there if you want to select multiple files go ahead and go to the magnifying glass and then uh, it's just you can uh, highlight a whole bunch of stuff and then just hit open and it'll add it all if you want to delete any specific thing you can highlight right click and then delete Since I don't want any of that, I just want that. There we go. Um, this button, here, uh, oh, there's a little checkbox here. If you check that, what it's going to do is uh, pipe the video like a media player. So you can uh, demo your stream. Uh, this button right here is the next button, and this button right here is the previous button. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, actually stream. So that pretty much does it. Uh, I hope this helped.